Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the Algebra 1 concept of adding and subtracting polynomials. This is standard A.10a in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 13 of the 2017 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a shoe company it's going to close one of its stores and combine. So that's important right up there. Combine all the inventory from both stores. And we've got some polynomials representing the inventory in each store. So what are polynomials? Well, these are expressions. And they include a multitude of things, such as constants. So we've got a... Uh, seven halves, we've got a one-fourth, we've got variables just on their own, so I've got a g right there, but they also include exponents, and so there's multiple levels here, so I've got a g squared in both. All right, so which expression represents the combined inventory of the two stores? Well, first, let's just go ahead and write a larger expression here, so I'm going to have one-half g squared plus 7 halves, and then I'm just going to add this second right here, 3 g squared minus 4 fifths g plus 1 fourth. Now this is, we can go ahead and just represent it like this, but really that addition on the outside of that second parenthesis is not going to really change anything, so we could just pretend like the parentheses are gone. Now, here's the key with polynomials like terms. You are going to combine g squareds with g squareds, but g squareds are different than g's, and they are different than constants. So it looks like I've got three levels of my polynomial. I'm going to have g squareds, right? I've got one right here. I've got one right here. I'm going to have one g, but it it's on its own. You cannot combine that with a g squared. Totally different. And then I've just got numbers, constants. So I've got a 7 half, and I've got a 1 fourth. Okay? So let me see what are my g squareds. I've got 1 and a half, or just, excuse me, 1 half g squared. And then I've got a plus 3 g squared. All right, so if I were to bring those together, right, that would turn into half g squared plus 3g squared is going to be 3 and a half g squared. All right, now let's look at my g's. I've got just one, okay, so it's just going to be minus, I'm going to end up writing it over here, minus 4 fifths g, and this is going to kind of be my new expression, 4 fifths g. And then I've got constants, okay, seven and a half, or seven halves, plus one-fourth. All right, I've got that seven halves, I've got that one-fourth. Now with that, we are going to have to go ahead and just do, do the math, because you can't just add those across, that's not eight-sixths, we know that. We need a common denominator, let's change that seven halves, let's double it. Because if we change the 7 halves into 14 fourths, then that's going to be easier, right? So we'll say 14 fourths plus my 1 fourth. That's going to equal 15 fourths. All right, so this is my new expression, I think. 3 and a half g squared minus 4 fifths g, and then that's a positive. 15 fourths. Problem is, I don't see three and a half. I see mixed numbers. Okay, I, I, no mixed numbers. I need an improper fraction. So we multiply the whole number by the denominator. That's six. Add the numerator. That's one, seven. Okay, so let's make this seven halves minus four fifths g plus 15 fourths. There we go. Our answer here is A.